Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal, and today I'm excited to be sharing with you a new and different way for me to store and document in my traveler's notebooks. As you guys know, I love working traveler's notebooks. I especially love these traveler's notebooks from Studio Calico. They are my favorite. I love the patterns, but um, I have been switching it around in the past few years, trying to find the right way to store these the right way to work in them and all that good stuff. And I've been working in traveler's notebooks for a very long time. So it's something I really love doing, but I also want it to work for me. Now, throughout the years, I've changed up how I store my traveler's notebooks and how I work in them. Uh, if you have been around for a while, you'll remember that I used to document a month in one traveler's notebook which was amazing. I really enjoyed it. I love every single notebook and I used to store them in these beautiful binders from Studio Calico. But at some point it became too much. Like I was constantly creating, right? Which is fine, but I also had loads of notebooks by the end of the year. As you can see, I had worked in almost every single page and filled out my notebooks to the brim. A, that caused me having a lot of bulkiness, a lot of traveler's notebooks. And on top of my 12 notebooks a month, I also had other projects using traveler's notebooks. So I just don't have the space in my craft room. I have a very small craft room and I don't have space to store these notebooks. So I changed it up last year and started using Freckled Fawn's page protectors. It worked out well. I would uh, trim down my traveler's notebooks, just use the patterns I want to use, and I kind of let go of one notebook per month. And it really helped me kind of store my notebooks. I just added a cover to them. That was great. But that was also a lot of plastic. And I've been trying really hard for the past uh, few years to cut down on the plastic in my life. I truly believe in global warming. I want to be better at what I use in my crafting. I already use way too much plastic and I'm just not okay with it anymore. So I really thought that in 2023, I had to change it up. I didn't wanna bring more plastic in my life. Uh, I was you know, still creating a lot of layouts in my traveler's notebooks and um, I ended up with, I think, like three of these. So that's a lot of plastic if you come to think about it. Um, so what I decided for 2023 that I would still trim down my traveler's notebooks. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that with these. I've already started creating in these traveler's notebooks. These are December, I think, January. So I wanted to trim them down and I want to show you how... I'm going to be storing my traveler's notebooks and working in them in 2023. For me, it's a life changer. It's not a new method by far. Uh, a lot of planners use these products and this method for their notebooks and their planners. And I thought, why not try it for my traveler's notebook? You guys know I am not afraid of change and I'm not afraid of trying new things. And I decided that I'm going to be using discs for my traveler's notebooks. I was so excited that it worked. <laughs> and as you can see, this is just a part of 2022. Let me show you the other half. So this is the first half of 2022. There was a lot of little fails and things, but I think if I start fresh, um, it will work out. Now, what I mean about that, that these were already created, these layouts, and all I did was uh, cut them down, figure out how to add them into my discs. Uh, so I had like layouts like this that um, had little flip outs and stuff like that. So I had to kind of figure out how to end up adding this. So you can see here that it's sticking out of my traveler's notebook pages, but it's not a big deal. It was a tryout and I really, really love how this turned out. I did order some clear discs because I prefer the clear discs. Um, I just grabbed these just to try this out and I love how it is, especially once I add my clear discs because look at that, it's just perfection. You can flip through your pages 
And the best part is once I trim out these notebooks, I can add them into discs. And when I want to work on a certain pattern, I just pull it out of the disc, work on it on my desk, and then put it back in. So it removes that worry about, oh, the stamping, how am I going to stamp? I have so much bulkiness on the other half. This was such a great idea for me. I was so excited because it's a game changer. First off, I'm not using plastic, which makes me really, really happy. Uh, let me put one of these aside. Uh, I'm not using plastic. Uh, I literally used these um, chopping board, clear chopping boards. They were like a dollar a piece probably, or two a piece, I'm not even sure. Trimmed them down so I was able to get four out of one to cover two of my notebooks. Pretty cheap and uh, good price. I also used a punch. Let me grab that as well. So this is the punch, the arc, that I ended up using. Now I decided to use this punch because it gives you different sizes and you can move this up and down for different sizes. I ended up going with the A5, I think, to, um, I'm thinking A5, yeah, I went with the A5 to punch out my holes for my traveler's notebooks. Also, what I love about this punch is, um, let me see if I can get this in frame, yeah, okay, is that when you punch out your holes in your traveler's notebook, it doesn't go in too deep. And that's what I was looking for. All the other punches that I looked at, like the Happy Planner and things like that, the punch goes in too deep into your paper and I didn't want it to interfere with my layout. So I decided to go with this one. I did a lot of research, watched a lot of YouTube videos <laughs> to find the right uh, punch for me. And this one was the one. Uh, it's a bit pricey, but it's worth what I'm doing. I'm saving the earth by not using so much plastic in some sort of way I have a better way to store my traveler's notebooks and uh, I have it on hand for any project that I want to add discs for now for the idea of storing these it's going to save me so much space in my craft room I usually keep a few years on my shelf and then by a, like two three years down the road I'll remove them and add them into plastic containers so I can store them and using these uh, first off saves me so much money not buying the traveler's notebook covers but also is just an easier thinner simpler way to store these in my plastic containers I'm so excited for this I'm so happy I tried it I just wanted to share it with you and show you how I'm going to be storing my traveler's notebooks. So if you end up seeing me later on throughout the year, uh, punching holes in my layouts or using traveler's notebooks that have holes in them, you know why, because I'm going to be adding discs to my traveler's notebooks. So basically my 2022s are done. I did try it out with my 2022 traveler's notebooks. It worked out great. And like I said, I did order clear discs to add to my traveler's notebooks because I didn't really like the colors. I'm just not like a color person when it comes to these discs. But I did want to show you, because I do get a lot of questions about this, um, and I want to show you how I pull apart a traveler's notebook. I just literally trim this or take out the staples trim the pages and keep the patterns that I want to use or the ones that I like. Uh, I'm going to show you an example real quick before we start. Okay, so I wanted to show you what I did here. Um, I trimmed down some of my traveler's notebooks, which are right here. Let me show you this. I just trimmed some down, cut down, and kept the ones, the patterns that I know I like and would end up using. And I just added all those patterns inside this Traveler's Notebook cover uh, from one of my Studio Calico covers. And then I started. So this is the layout that I created and I shared on Reel. And you can see these clear discs. Um, so I got like a pack or two of these clear discs but I'm using just a few on here for now, just until I get my new discs and whatever. 
But anyways, um, and these are way too small. As you can see, these are not going to be able to hold a f you know, full traveler's notebook in here. Or maybe one, a few pages, but not as many as I usually end up with. And so I just punched my holes, added it in here. And once I do another layout, I can add it in here as well. And so I'm going to show you how I do that. Um, so we're going to punch out or take out some of these pages go through it and see what pages I want to keep and what pages I don't want to keep. And then we're going to punch the holes for some of these layouts that I created and add them into my traveler's notebook or my disc bound traveler's notebook. Okay, so as you can see, I have one layout in that traveler's notebook, and I do want to add this layout into my disc bound traveler's notebook. And I also trimmed out the whole traveler's notebook. So I wanted to first, before we start with this, okay, so first I wanted to show you basically what I do once I trim this down is I go through the pages and just keep the ones I know for a fact I can use or like or will end up using in the future. Anything that doesn't speak to me, anything that I don't like is gone. Now, I don't throw those pages out, by the way. I do use them for stamping, uh, little things like that, maybe uh, like uh, scrap paper or whatever, but I don't throw them out, but it does help remove the bulk from the patterns I do want to keep. Okay, so something like this, this grid pattern, I would totally use that and I really like it. Uh, I could totally use the stripes. I usually actually really like these in my traveler's notebooks. Love this pattern, so I'm keeping it. I usually don't look at the back because if I like one pattern, it doesn't matter what the back looks like, if that makes sense. I like this one as well. Now, this one is not really speaking to me. I don't like the colors. I don't think I would use it. But this is where I end up flipping my page. And I would totally use that. I love this. I would add a title, add my journaling, probably a picture across. So I'm totally keeping that. I love that yay. So I'm going to leave that one as well or keep it. Now, this one, the looking back, I really like. And I know this inside the Traveler's Notebook had a going forward or something. So I'm going to look for that one because I do want to keep it and I do want to use it with that page. So I found it and 
Um, that one's just okay to me, but I really like those two. So I'm going to keep them back to back to remind myself to use them together. So I'm keeping those. Um, this one's a-okay, not really going to use it. Not digging this one either. This one's a good one for the kids, especially Sabine. So I'm going to use, keep that one, like that one. This one also had, I think, a no and yes. If I'm not mistaken, I feel like I did see a yes. Maybe I'm wrong. I might be wrong. So, but I like this one. I'm keeping it as well. Um, this is not a favorite either. This is not like, I don't know. It's maybe the colors. Uh, this is not the purple that I usually go for. I like the deeper purples. So I might say no to that one. This one's definitely a no. Uh, this is not. I do not like that, but that is pretty. So I'm keeping this side. Love that. Love that. And love that. So I'm keeping these. And so because I'm keeping these, I can add them into my little pile of patterns here. So I'll just end up adding those. I will add these to discs. Um, like I said, I've been waiting for my discs. So once I get my discs, I'm going to add all of these punch them out and add them into discs. And for these guys, I'll end up using the backside because they have grid. So that works out perfectly. And these will go into pile of patterns that I'm not excited about and just gonna end up using the grid side. So I wanna add this layout into my disc bound traveler's notebook. So like I shared earlier, I already started one and I want to add this in here. Yes, this starts in January and that's what I'm kind of focusing on. But you know what? I just felt like this goes well. It kind of completes January. It comes into January. It's December and uh, I'm talking about like December moments then basically go into January. I hope I'm making sense, but I want to add this <laughs> in my January. Oh, and by the way, this is not just going to hold one month. I think I mentioned that, right? This is going to hold hopefully the whole year or I'll have two for one year. And so that's what I'm hoping for. Again, I'm going to change out those discs. They're too small. So I want to show you how I'm going to punch out my holes, how I'm going to add it to my disc bound traveler's notebook and uh, complete this video. I do have to apologize for Stitch's barking. It's pretty annoying, but the video has to go on. So like I said, there's a little bar here and there's instructions with the arc. So it's really easy to use, um, but I go with the A5. I just add it to the A5 for my traveler's notebooks. I make sure that I know where I'm punching my holes before I punch. And I'm going to punch my holes through here. Just slide it in. Let it touch the end of that bar. And add my holes. And like I said earlier, I love that it doesn't go too deep into my layout. So it's not taking away from photos or stamping or embellishments or anything like that. I love, love, love doing this. It's starting to bring me so much joy at this point. I'm just so proud of myself about thinking about this. Like I said, it is not my idea to use disc bounds, but I haven't seen anyone use discs for traveler's notebooks. Maybe I'm wrong, but like when this aha moment hit me, I was so excited and wanted to try it. I'm so happy I did try it. And this is why I always tell you guys to just go for it. If you have an idea, go for it because it always ends up being great 99% of the time. And um, I don't regret doing this at all. So I'm going to pull out that last page. And I think about it as well. I sit there and think, am I going to use this page for anything else? If I decide no, I will just back up my pages together. And it, by the way, it's pretty simple method. <laughs> it's not that complicated, but I did want to share it with you because I know once I start like working in my traveler's notebook, a lot of people are going to have questions. And so I'm, I ran out of tape, so I have to switch that out. Okay. Switched out my tape, 
But um, yeah, I know a lot of people are going to have some questions for me. So I thought I would just go ahead and do a video and show you how I'm going to be storing my traveler's notebooks. Um, why and all that good stuff. Now, obviously, if you don't have a storing situation like I do, and you have a bigger craft room, this is probably not a problem for you. But for me, because I love working in traveler's notebooks, I just want to make sure that I have the space in my craft room for my other projects as well. So that's one of the reasons why I came up with this idea or thought about it and decided that I'm going to do it. So uh, like I said, I will be switching out my discs. I do want to be able to grow in this and um, I will link those uh, chopping boards because really that's that was a lifesaver as well because I really like the frosted look and I wanted to be able to add a pattern behind it or something because these traveler's notebooks come with beautiful patterns and um, I did get these clear discs from Amazon I just grabbed larger ones because I'm not familiar with the disc situation I did ask a few friends about it and also I wanted to um, try out different discs and see what I like and don't like. So I ended up just purchasing different sizes and hopefully I get those soon. Anyways, uh, so basically I am trimming out or taking apart my traveler's notebooks. I'm trimming out my favorites. I do have to do these as well and add them in here. Just little things like that. I just have some really cute layouts in this traveler's notebook that I want to trim down and add to my disc bound traveler's notebook i like i said i will be adding all the links in the description box for you i hope you enjoyed watching this video and i hope it inspired you to try something new and a new different way to store your traveler's notebooks and if you did enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and i hope to see you guys very soon bye